film. I go to restaurants where you know, like you win stuff if you can eat loads. Of, it's disgusting, but uh, <laughs> pays the bills, you know. <laughs> I don't get to wear a suit like you guys, but... Uh, what are you going to eat today? Uh, today I'm eating some Swedish meatballs. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Good luck with the meatballs. Thank you, thanks. What a nice fella. <laughs> yeah, this could be the funkiest intro tune yet. I'm gonna turn it down though, or off, because I'm parking up soon. You ever do that? Turn the music down so you can see better? <laughs> Just me? It doesn't make much sense, does it? All right, we're at a place called Haston's Grill and Rockers Pub today. Just says Rockers Pub on the outside of the building, but this is the official name, and this place is mega famous in Sweden. Mostly for just serving obscenely large portions of food. And actually, they've got a couple of food challenges on the menu. There's a burger challenge, some kind of steak challenge with a big machete on top. Some kind of big platter challenge thingy. But since we're in Sweden, I'm having a bash at their meatballs <laughs> challenge. Yeah. Looking forward to this one. I've never done a meatball challenge before. Is a button necessary for that? I feel like you could just do that with your hand, no? Oof, it's bright today. This is it, Rocker's Pub. Is that like an Arnold Schwarzenegger themed meal? Arnold Cheesinator. Come on! Hi, I'm the, I, uh, I messaged on Facebook about doing... Uh... It was with me. Yeah? I'm, uh, Derek. Nice to meet you, man. Haston's Grill and Rocker's Pub. Rocker's Pub, yeah. You guys are like famous throughout Sweden, as far as I can see. Yeah, in Sweden we are see. really famous because we are the only uh, challenge restaurant in uh, Sweden. I was thinking I would do the, uh, the the meatballs one, right? You have a, like a meatballs... Yeah. Uh, uh, super Swedish Big Bang, Black and Sword. That sounds good, yeah, because um, we're in Sweden, right? I don't want to do it. You, you get burgers everywhere. Exactly. You, you, you don't get meatballs many places, so I'll, I'll do the, the, the Swedish meatball one, yeah. Yeah. God damn it, you think they've got enough alcohol? <laughs> I love the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame thing they got going on up here. I feel like Elvis is taking up a lot of real estate, though. Uh, yeah, you'll be, in the sh you'll be in the shot, though. Do you want to sit at this you, one? You can sit there if you want to. I'm not, I'm not going to sit. I'll sit there. Yeah? How's the food? Is it good? It is good. That's a relief. It's enough. That's enough. Yeah. For you, maybe. Yeah, this is the uh, the Wall of Fame, then, or as they call it, the Hall of Big Eaters. There are quite a few people on there, though. So that implies that at least some of the challenges are doable. You say you finished? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that counts as finished, if you ask me. There are a couple of scraps there. <laughs> The thing about mashed potatoes, it's pretty dense, so it doesn't look that big. But um, it's like a kilo of mash, a kilo and a half of meatballs, and then you got like the sauce as well, so who knows. So the place is called Haston's Grill and Rockers Pub. But it's like the Swedish hall, Horsten's Grill. That was good? I'm taking on the, what, it's got some daft name, what's, what's the name of this thing? Blaster Asteroids. The record holder for uh, succeeding, but the longest time trying is 7 hours and 50 minutes. Somebody tried for 7 hours? 7 hours and 50 minutes, yeah. They were sat but, here... But he succeeded and he was so happy to get the medal. <laughs> Wait, he spent 7 hours yeah. eating? And the quickest one was 14 minutes, they did that one. 14 minutes? 14 minutes, yeah. Alright, see what we can do here, see what we can do. Meatballs, mashed potato, and this was, what was this again? Right, okay, in that case. Who's good? Let's take the flag out first. Maybe we won't need that after all. Oh. <laughs> I got carbonated water by mistake. The mash is good. Mrs. Beard would love this. It's creamy, it's not really chunky. It's almost like a spread. Yeah, when I say Mrs. Beard would love it, I mean, of course, the mash. She's not into meatballs, 
a funny description. You can take my word on that. What's up, and welcome back to another episode. We're at the legendary Haston's Grill and Rockers Pub in Varberg today, which is renowned far and wide, in Sweden at least, on account of all the mad grub they sell. As I mentioned, they have a few different eating challenges on the menu here, but given that we are, after all, in Sweden, I thought the meatballs one would be the most authentic. I think a spoon might make more sense. A two and a half litre milkshake? <laughs> you finished? Oh, you beat me. <laughs> yeah, there's a bloke sat next to me eating a regular sized portion, which he seemed to take great delight in polishing off before I'd even got a quarter of the way into mine. The mash is really delicious. This is really good. Is that like a normal wrap you have there? That's like a regular size wrap. That's pretty big. Meatball's trying to escape. Not so fast, sucker. Yeah, nice try. This thing costs 400 Swedish crowns or thereabouts to attempt, which is... I think about 30 quid if I'm not mistaken. There's no time limit either, other than that you have to do it in one sitting. But the house record, in case you missed it, is 14 minutes apparently. You starting to feel full? You made a sound then that made it sound like you were full. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you might be able to tell. There are two blokes sat next to me enjoying a spot of lunch and uh, the one who's just out of shot ordered their big monster wrap, which isn't one of their challenges, it's just a two and a half pound kebab wrap thingy. But halfway through, and I think he's hitting the wall, quite audibly in fact, which tickled the old ribs a bit. Meanwhile, I'm actually doing all right, despite this being the second biggest one on the menu, I think. It's going down quite the treat. It's about five minutes. I'm doing all right. Yeah. Not bad so far. Gotta win that cap and the medal. Yeah, see, by this point I've seen the medal and it looks pretty substantial. It's not a flimsy little plastic thingy. It's actually made of metal. Not gold, of course, but still, it looks the part, so I wanna get my hands on that. And I've barely used any lingerie sauce at this point, so clearly everything is still tasting good. Just a shame that old fella didn't stick around for the main event. Still don't really know why he wanted to sit next to me so badly. There were plenty of empty seats. Would have been fun to have him in shot though. That would have been a laugh. The only thing I would change is I'd probably put some more gravy on there. This berry sauce thing's pretty good though. I never knew you were supposed to eat meatballs with like a sweet berry dip. Is that a Swedish thing? Yeah. Tastes good. Stop messing around now. Let's get it done in the 14 minutes. Well, I mean, there's plenty of time left. I'm making light work this one for a change. No huffing and puffing. It's going down nice and easy. I think partly it's the novelty of doing something which is neither burger nor breakfast. I've never done meatballs before. Certainly not two and a half kilos of them anyway. The mash was top end too. There's nothing worse to me than lumpy mash. But this was uh, smooth and creamy. You could almost call it potato pate. So silky was its texture. I mean, you wouldn't. You'd sound like a pretentious idiot. But it was good mash. That's what I'm getting at. I will say the addition of the lingonberry dip will probably not be to everyone's taste, especially when combined with the gravy. Personally, I love sweet and salty, weird combinations of all natures, but this is a bit off the wall, to say the least. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it, and as always, I'll catch you at the next one. Eight and a half minutes. I think I'm gonna get the medal after all. <laughs> Plenty of time for a wipe down. Whew. Almost there. It's basically like eating meatballs, mashed potato, gravy and jam. But it's actually much better than that sounds. <coughs> Do you swear? <laughs> just like, just over 10 minutes, I think. <laughs> 
All right, this is Bimmy's food, and that was the uh, giant Swedish meatballs and mash challenge. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. That was really nice, man. You want another one? No, I'm good. I'm good. I think for now. <laughs> yeah, we forgot to tell you also that uh, uh, this one is uh, outside the uh, Oh, you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to eat the sauce. I forgot to tell you that. <laughs> Never mind. I wouldn't want to waste it anyway. Not, not all like it. All oh, right. Well, it was nice. Oh, this is for you. Oh, thank you very much. It's like an Olympic medal. I'm gonna put it on now. I'm gonna walk around the rest of the trip in Sweden now wearing this. You have the glass. Thank you very much. And you have the cap that you can change from that one. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. I do uh, get a lot of mileage out of uh, baseball caps. And I always get your lips. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it, man. It was delicious. Thank you. I really enjoyed it. Right, on to the next one. But hopefully, it's a bit more challenging than that one was. I feel like I've got a solid 90 minutes in me right now. Nah, 45 though. we do a good 45 if soccer A came calling. Just assess the damage. Yeah, don't know. It's not too much of a protrusion there, is it? Got a bit of a gut going on, but not much of one. Thanks for having me. Maybe I'll come back one day and try one of the other other ones. Yeah. Thanks again. Yeah, there's a lot there. I was gonna try the the three kilo one. Is that supposed to be for two people? That one is a challenge for two people. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but we're waiting still for somebody to just take it uh, themselves. You can, three kilos? That's totally doable as one person. Maybe I'll I'll come back and do that one day. I promise. Yeah. Two and a half kilos. That ain't nothing. Ain't nothing but a peanut, as the great Ronnie Coleman used to say. I hope the food comes out while he's sat down though, that'd be kind of fun. I'll just be just next to me while I'm eating. I don't even let Mrs. Beard sit next to me usually. <laughs> 